Hello and welcome to a very exciting unboxing and first test for me uh, of the Prima Luci Lab Eagle 2 astronomy computer. Um, it's essentially just a normal computer running Windows 10 Enterprise but it's been specifically designed for astronomy use with all the various holes in the top and bottom uh, to fix to tube rings and it's got um, eight USB ports and um, due heater outputs and so on so it's, uh, it's specifically designed for astro use. I've also bought with this some tube rings uh, for the guide rings and the main tube rings for my uh, TAC 106 125mm tube rings. reason for this is it runs on the Prima Luci Lab um, plus system so that the tube rings screw directly through into the the uh, Eagle 2 so that it sits on top of the tube rings to make it all secure and compact. Um, so the one thing that you will need to know and understand is that when you buy the Eagle 2, be that whether the pro version or the standard version, you don't get any cables with it at all. So it doesn't come with a power lead, doesn't come with any output leads. Now the output leads on this, or the output terminals, uh, are specific to this. So you can probably get them somewhere, but I've never seen them before. Um, but I'll show you them when we unpackage the, uh, the leads. So the version that I've got here is the Eagle 2 Pro. Uh, so you see the Eagle 2 is an Intel i3, 8 gig of RAM and 120 gig hard drive. Uh, I've gone for the Pro version, which is the i5, 16 gigs of RAM and 250 gigabytes of uh, storage space in SSD. So let's open up, see what we've got. Now, I will say that this did all come in a bigger box with lots of the little biscuit things, so it was well packaged up, but um, I didn't think you'd want to see that. So the first thing is a quick start guide. It's got your access password for your Eagle. Um, and that's just explains what all the ports and various things are. It's just a single page. And a single piece of cardboard protection. So here's the packaging. Uh, we've got a little USB stick here. So the USB stick, it does actually say on the startup guide there is for the um, manuals in PDF on the, the little disc. So it's a little um, little Prima Luci Lab. It's going to show you that there, little hard drive. So we'll keep that to the side. Um, we've got the fixing bolts for fixing the unit to the tube rings. Uh, what's this? This is, uh, this is the antennas because it runs on Wi-Fi as well as um, on LAN. You can have it connected by LAN or Wi-Fi. So we'll put these over here. So that's just two standard Wi-Fi antennas and, there. and now for the unit itself so we take this out there's nothing else in the box that's just cardboard packaging let's move this out of the way okay let's take it out of the package actually surprised this isn't in um a little bit of bubble wrap, maybe it's just in plastic, but I, don't, I suppose it was well protected in the box and so there's no big deal there. Well, I must say, first impression is really well built, very well built. Um, it feels solid yeah, and it certainly comes across as solid. We've got uh, what look like possibly 6mm um, countersunk Allen headed screws holding the top plate on. Um, what I'll do, I've got a set of scales here, so I'll weigh it to see what we've got. It feels a couple of kilos, I would say. Look. Um, well, that's exactly 1,200 grams, and that's 1 1.2 kilos. So it's reasonably heavy, I guess, but not too bad. And so here's the power ports that I was talking about. You can see on the ends, you actually have the 12 volt in. Um, which is similar to the 12 volt out. So they're female. So these, you've got two 3 amp outputs, two 8 amp outputs, and then 12 volt in, 16 amps. The, the 8 amps are female threads, 
and the three amps are male threads. So you need to make sure that you get the right leads for those. So on the outside here, uh, we've got four USB 2s. We've got three um, LEDs there. Um, I guess one's power, SSD, and the um, activation. So it's just showed you've got the power on. We've got the two wireless aerial ports there. Um, we've got two USB 3s. I'm not quite sure what, oh, it looks like a, I'm not quite sure what that port is on the end there. I'll have to look at that at a later stage. Um, and then on the other side here, we've got, looks like a ventilation aperture. Um, we've got two display port outputs. We've got what I presume is a gigabit LAN. We've got another two USB 3s and then the three um, heater outputs. I believe these are switchable so you can actually you can adjust the um, the output to your um, your heater bands, but you can also put a, a flat panel on there, so you can adjust the output to the flat panel. So this is a uh, well, it's a really good first impression, I must say. So that's going to sit the the removable plate side will sit on top of your tube rings, and then your uh, guide rings sit on top of that. So if we just have a little look. So here we have the power lead. Now I've got the power lead from Prima Lucci Lab as well. Uh, the reason I got the power lead from them is because of the, the plug on the end. As you see there, the plug is actually quite a different type plug. Now this comes fitted with a, a cigar type lighter socket. They do do a couple of variations. They did one that had banana plugs, but I wasn't happy because there's no fuse in it. So I basically decided to get this one and I'll chop the end off and then put some crimp lugs because this is going in a permanent uh, fixture. So it will be crimp lugs with an inline fuse, a 16 amp inline fuse. Um, so these cables basically just plug in the ends there and then screw on that's fairly simple um, as I said earlier you need to make sure that you actually get the correct cables so if we have a look here for example this is um, a cable for my AZEQ6 so this is a 3 amp cable because uh, I think they're only about 2 amps maximum so this one is a 3 amp cable as uh, so you see this one is actually a female or, uh, sorry a male um, plug so this goes into the female socket so this goes into one of the three amp sockets and then just plugs in and screws in so it's quite good I guess the way uh, the reason for that is that you can't put um, something drawing six amps into a three amp socket it would need to go into the eight amp one because it's a different plug and if you're doing that of an evening time I guess you know that just won't fit in so that's actually quite a good idea I quite like that idea um, well I have to say I mean that's that's really nice the finish is is very very good it's like a, a satin sheen it, it's not it's not completely matte but it's certainly not gloss I mean you can see it's not shiny which is a good thing um, but it's like a really nice satin sheen all the holes look really well finished every single one of these holes in the top and the bottom is tapped um, so if we put this upside down I'll take my tube ring so we've got the Prima Lucci Lab tube rings as well and so in there we have the packet with the, the bolts and some little biscuit things so if we just, if we just grab one of these tube rings out there's they obviously come as a pair, the tube rings, but we just use one for the time being. Okay, so what we look at now is if you ever look at the Prima Lucci Lab tube rings, you'll see they have their own system that they call PLUS. And the, the way this differs, so it still has the standard um, hole centers for the tube rings. So you've got, that would fit on a normal um, Losmondi type dovetail plate but you see there's an extra two holes inside the bottom there and what they do is they go all the way through into um, a board hole or two board holes inside the, the tube ring and the reason for that is that you can pop the tube ring then on top 
of the Eagle system and then use the fixing bolts and actually fix down through there without it affecting uh, the outside of the OTA. So that's how they, I mean obviously that would then be upside down, so that would fix on there. So that's how they fix this uh, unit to the tube rings and it actually adds to the rigidity of the whole thing. And then you can take your guide rings, which again are, are plus compatible, this system's all called plus, and then you screw them directly to the top so you have a solid fixing between your OTA and the, the uh, guider if you're going to use um, a standard guide OTA. Really good system. I'm hoping for uh, good things from it. I mean, it's you know it all feels very, very substantial, really well made, lovely finish. Um, everything seems very good. I'm quite impressed with first opinions, I have to say. So... The next thing will be to get it all set up and, um, and plugged in. The system will run either via uh, as an access point or as a host. So you can either, it will develop its own wireless network so you can connect to it directly so it's not connected to the internet. So you just have a, a direct ad hoc um, network to connect directly to the unit. Or you can run it in host mode, which means that you can connect then to your wireless network and then run it. Uh, via the wireless network so if you need to download your software um, perhaps you use SG Pro or whatever uh, you can download it then and then take it back into AP mode to get it away from the internet or of course it's, it's got the gigabit LAN so you can run it via a LAN port I believe one of the benefits of running it on the LAN is that you can use um, wake up on LAN so you can actually shut the system down and it will sit in standby and then if you image remotely um, you can use a wake on LAN um, communication with it to to wake it up rather than have it sitting on all the time uh, so it may be that I actually will be using the LAN but it's the, the Wi-Fi is quite good because uh, you know you can use it with a tablet and so on so that's I look forward to running this so the next video will be plugging it all in getting it set up and uh, seeing how it performs I hope this has been a good video for you and see you in the next one bye